They say it pays to know your tools, and that's particularly the case when it comes to a smartphone camera and capturing some more complicated shots. Today, I'm going to try and make a splash and capture some water droplets as they fly through the air. This is the setup that I'm going to use. I've put down a tablecloth to protect the table because this one could get messy. Uh, what I've got is a glass of water that I just propped up to a suitable height for the camera. And I've got a background. This is just a clipboard. You could use a, sort of a sheet of paper or whatever, or even a wall. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna use is a tripod, just a smartphone tripod, and get that nice and close to where the droplet, uh, the drops of water are going to be. I'm gonna drop this strawberry into the water and try and capture the water drops as they fly through the air. Let's chat about some of those challenges. Now, to freeze a moment in time, those water droplets go very, very quickly and we want to capture them at that moment in time. We use something on traditional cameras and on smartphone cameras called shutter speed. So that is the fraction of a second that light is let onto the sensor and the exposure is taken. And typically we want a very high shutter speed in hundreds or thousands of seconds. You can control that on most phones using a manual mode or pro mode. It's, it's called different things. The other thing is burst mode. Now, unless you have got perfect timing, and I'm talking to the hundreds or thousands of a second, then you're going to need to use burst mode, which takes lots of exposures in a very short space of time. And that will hopefully give you, you know, one out of 25 shots or something might be the perfect splash. Again, smartphone cameras generally do that. No problem, you would think. However, as I found with both of the Android phones that I've got here, you can't do both at the same time in the stock camera app, the app that comes with the phone. You can do a fast shutter speed, again, hundreds and thousands of a second, but that means you can't do the burst mode. And you can do the burst mode, but... It, it's quite frustrating. So what I've done is try to find a way where I can capture this fast shutter speed and burst mode using the automatic mode on your phone camera. And it's a little bit of trial and error and your phone may vary, but I found a way that I think it can work. The other thing, which again, you're having to work with the quirks of, of your phone, is ideally, to keep it as sharp as possible, I would use a remote shutter release um, pair of headphones like these, just by pressing the volume button normally does that job. However, that won't let me do burst mode, just a single exposure. Again, your phones may vary. That's what I found with the ones that I have here. So, um, I'm gonna to have to mount my phone on the tripod and then press the screen in order to get the burst shots. Enough talking, let's give it a go. So mount you at the bottom because I'm working with a subject that's quite low down, mount my phone in maybe what feels like the unnatural way with the camera at the bottom. Okay, and then just loosely frame up so that your subject is in the middle of the frame. I've got the grid lines on just to make sure that everything is nice and even. I've got my light source here. As always, this is one of those tools that just gets you out of so many problems. So I'm just going to put as much light as I can onto my scene and choose a light subject. I've just got this from a mortar and pestle. And put this where the splash is going to be. And then I'm going to lock focus. And lock exposure. Just by holding and tapping on the screen, you see it says AEAF lock. Obviously the focus is, is fairly self-explanatory here. Again, I could do manual focus in pro mode, but that won't give me the burst mode. The exposure is the, is the important thing here. It's why it's important we get this as bright as possible, which is why I'm using a light subject. And that is because I want to fool the camera into thinking that there's loads and loads of light. And what a smartphone camera will do then is increase the shutter speed to hundreds or maybe thousands of a second. And that is exactly what we need. If I didn't have this light here, then it would put, put a lower shutter speed on, maybe a 20th of a second or a 50th of a second to uh, get the right exposure. 
but that would mean that our water droplets would be blurry, you know, just be one kind of big mass. No, we want a really high shutter speed. And this is the way that I found in automatic mode on a phone to make that happen. Other things, turn off HDR. I don't need flash for this. Now, when I take my subject away, now the background is kind of, um, kind of disappearing and we've just got our focus very much on the foreground here. Okay, so that's good. I'm just gonna to top up my glass of water. There we go. Like I say, this one will get messy, but hey, that's all part of the fun. So light shining on my subject. Strawberry at the ready. Now what you don't want to do <laughs> is to drop it off to one side. Try and aim it so it's right in the middle. There we go, like that. And get ready with a very gentle touch. Three, two, one. Hold to burst and drop. That water went everywhere, so it's given me a second to clean it up. And most importantly, just have a quick check on the back of your phone as well. Uh, most phones are splash proof. Just make sure yours is because we are quite close up here. Make sure that you Make sure we give that lens a good clean as well. So at this stage, that was the first one out of the way. Let's have a quick review and see what that looked like because maybe we can learn something from how it looked. So um, on this phone, I get the chance to select from my, from my bursts and, oh wow. So it's, it's the last one. Most phones will only let you do a burst of maybe a second or two. So that timing of the hit burst on here and then do the drop is quite crucial. But that as a first shot, I am super impressed. I've got the glass nicely in the middle. I've got the strawberry, the green of the stalk of the strawberry and the red going right into the middle of the glass. And I've got the splash. You can see those that that water a lot of it has kind of been frozen in time. You've got the glints from the light as well. That is a really, really beautiful image. Using this tip means that even in a phone's automatic mode, not even in manual mode, you can get some amazing frozen in time water splash shots just like this.